Hi everyone, welcome to part four, the final part in our four-part series on textual criticism and introduction. Uh, this week we're looking at, and uh, this week, this uh, episode we're looking at the Greek New Testament. We looked at the Hebrew uh, Bible, the Old Testament yesterday, and uh, we'll finish up here looking at the Greek. Again, trying to keep this short, just an introduction, and we can go into more depth later if uh, if you guys would like. So, you know, send me an email if you if you want to go into more uh, detail about this topic. So, uh, just as yesterday, we're going to look at the layout of each page, um, try to understand the basics of the notes, and then how to use the apparatus. So, this is a page from the Greek New Testament. Nesalon 27. Now Nesalon 28 is out for those of you that are critiquing me. No play on words intended. Um, so, but this is just uh, Nesalon 27 is the text edition that I cut my teeth on, so that's the one I'm going to be using. And just as with Biblical Hebraica Stuttgartensia, BHS from last week, the Hebrew text, you have the main body which is the text itself, is the Greek New Testament text. Here we're in the book of Romans. In the margin, we have notes. These are uh, references to parallel passages or to um, passages that have similar topics or ideas, um, but just sort of as a cross-reference. And then uh, down in the bottom, yet again, we have our apparatus. So, uh, just as with the biblical Hebrew text uh, or the Hebrew Bible, we want to compare the text that's in the main body to the variants that are found down in the apparatus. So, let's do that now. Here we're in the book of Romans, chapter 5. And if we look at verse 1, uh, over here we see this little half bracket. And that tells us that this word uh, has been replaced, part of it or all of it has been replaced with another word. And if we look down in the apparatus, notice chapter 5, comma, verse 1, we see that little half bracket, which tells us that we're looking at this form. Now, again, if you don't read Greek, that's okay. Um, if you notice, starting with, um, let me pull my mouse up here, this he, this letter that looks like an X, is what we're starting with here. Notice the dash. That means that this is not the entirety of the word. They're just saying from here forward, it's different than from here forward. Now, what is the difference? Well, up here... We have an Omicron, which looks like a little O, and down here we have an Omega. That's the only difference in these words. Now the difference, of course, is significant, and that's why I brought, of course, this, this verse up, this variant up. A common means we have in the indicative. A common, which is what's down in the apparatus, means let us have in the subjunctive. So, uh, of course, the verse is talking about we have peace with God or let us have peace with God, which is pretty significant as far as the difference. Um, so we'd want to analyze this one, right? Of course, we want to analyze all of them, you say. But if you look at the witnesses, and that's what we call these, notice all of the witnesses here. And we don't have to go into what all of these are. It's not important at the moment. All of these are for this reading. They all have this reading. They all support that reading. However, after this colon looking, colon looking thing, it says TXT, which means the text, what's up here. The text is supported by all these manuscripts. So you notice there are a lot on both sides, right? Now, 
you know, we can go into more detail you know, later on if you would like about analyzing each of these source, uh, each of these uh, witnesses, and you know which ones provide stronger reading. Um, but the, the point is that um, you know this is how we look at these individual variants to determine. Um, th this is the information that we begin with to try to determine which reading we should take. So just like when, with the Hebrew Bible, BHS, the apparatus here is uh, the place that um, all these variants have been collected for you. And so what your job is as the text critic, or probably in the beginning more likely, uh, as you read through someone's commentary or you read through someone's analysis of a particular variant, you can follow along and you can say, oh, okay, he's saying that uh, Romans 5.1, where the text ha says we have peace with God, he's arguing that it doesn't say that. It says, let us have peace with God. Well, now I understand why, because I can look at the variants here in the text and see all the sources that support that other reading. Okay, that does it for um, introduction to textual criticism. Next week, amongst other things, I just sort of want to put a teaser out there. I mentioned this yesterday. We're going to talk about um, in the in the Hebrew Bible the origin of the name Jehovah, and uh, I think it'll be a I think it'll be a neat daily data and something that you definitely want to tune in for next week. Thanks.